It's time for another Thrifty Thursday, and with us once again is Megan Muirdahl with the Northwest Bean Growers Association with some thrifty recipes, and I'm super excited for today, Megan, because you're making cheese cornbread waffles with black yes. beans. Yeah, I know. Some people, when I've told them what I'm making today, they're like, what? what? <laughs> I, I would have never thought of putting those ingredients together. But, um, I mean, thinking about it, like, cheese, beans, and a waffle is like such a delicious, crunchy, yes. um, it's a really awesome dish. And the thing that I love about this too is because we're thinking about Thrifty Thursday and um, thrifty meal ideas. And when we think about breakfast food, breakfast food is usually pretty cost-effective foods. Like for a waffle, flour, sugar, eggs, like all of those things are pretty cost-effective ingredients. I love it. And after you taste today's recipe, you'll realize that you can eat this any time of the day. I say, I love breakfast for supper, so yes, we'll call it. <laughs> a breakfast idea but perfect for a, a late night as well awesome okay so where are we starting so I'm gonna get started with our dry ingredients here so I just have a large bowl we have one cup of all-purpose flour one cup of cornmeal we have one tablespoon of sugar one tablespoon of baking powder and then a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna start mixing this up, and if you wanna get going on our wet ingredients, always okay. good to do our wet and dry in separate bowls so that you can get everything equally mixed. Okay, um, so, so you, you have two egg eggs in there. You have one and a quarter cup of buttermilk, which adds a really good mm, tangy buttermilk. flavor. If you find that you really love like a pancake or a waffle and it has that good tang to it, it also improves the texture too, it's because of the buttermilk. Okay. And then you have a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Okay. So we're gonna get those two mixed together. Making this from scratch at first, I thought that seems scary. Where's the little <laughs> container you just shake the water in and shake? But the, there's not that many ingredients here no. to do this from scratch. No, and it usually is your standard baking ingredients that you have in the um, in your pantry, so not a whole lot of things that you have to buy. I think the only thing I had to buy for this was the buttermilk. Okay. So I'll grab those wet ingredients from you, if you wanna just set that. And then we'll just get those incorporated. And what I want to say is the best part of this um, waffle recipe is the cheese. Mm. And so we're going to do a cup of sharp cheddar cheese right in the batter and get that all incorporated. And so this mix of ingredients, I mean, flour, um, eggs, those are pennies an ingredient. So it really makes for a nice um, low cost base to your meal. Always staying on budget. I like that <laughs> about you a lot. Um, and then you just want to get this mix just till it's incorporated. You might see a few chunks in there, but that is just fine. And so I've got a waffle iron here that is preheated, and we're just going to give it a spray with our cooking spray. And then I've tried it a few different ways, and it ends up being about three quarters of a cup that you want to put in here. Okay. And I know that a waffle iron is somewhat of a specialty piece of equipment. Not everybody has one, but... Um, I found this waffle iron for $8. I was going to say, they are very affordable. You're right. It's mostly just about having space in your in your kitchen. Exactly. But... And this is a nice little one. And, and it's such a fun, entertaining um, yes. piece of equipment, too. So I'm just going to give this a flip, if it'll let me. There we go. And now we just wait for the green light to turn off. Well, that's easy enough. That was a very fast mix to a from scratch waffle. And I just so happen to have one that is ready to the go. The magic of TV. <laughs> so I'll move this over. And we will now add all of our different accompaniments that are going to really make it fun. So we have a quarter of a cup of black beans and I'm going to put in the middle. These are just heated through, so we drain and rinse a can of black beans and heat those up. I'm going to do a couple of tablespoons of sour cream. Um, I'm actually using Greek yogurt today just because oh. that is something that I usually have on hand. We're going to do a couple slices of fresh tomato on top. I'm seeing an Instagram worthy meal. <laughs> you know that's what I'm here. always going for, right? A couple of slices of avocado. I've already done the slice on this, so then we just need to get them to come out. And this, I was going to say, making the waffle is kid friendly, but also getting them letting them choose the, the toppings totally. is also when they pick they're more likely to eat it absolutely and then last ingredient on top is just some fresh salsa Wow. And you have a very full and complete meal and do you want to know the full cost of yes. this recipe 83 cents per serving and that's everything that's your toppings 83. that's the that's the full mix there if I went to a restaurant I would expect to pay like fifteen dollars, <laughs> and they do right? charge and that. They do charge that. I just went to Hell's Kitchen, and I feel like I ate something like that, and it was much more. Eighty-three cents. That's I know. incredible. I know. Uh, we ran through the ingredients pretty fast, but remember, we always post the uh, recipe for you on our website and post it to our Facebook page as well. So, thank you so much, Megan. Oh, are we? Uh, 
Are we ready there? Let's see. Are we going to make a, a waffle breakfast for everyone today? Oh, oh this okay. one needs a couple more minutes, but it's looking looking pretty good. All right. I love it. Well, watch for that recipe, and uh, I'm going to, can I dig in? Is this one <laughs> yeah, for me? Yeah, that is all for you, Lisa. Okay, where's the, where's the fork? I guess we'll, we'll go to break. I'll find a fork. Uh, Megan Mirdal, thank you so much with our Thrifty Thursday. Stay with us coming up next. We're exactly one week away now from the Blue Water Bash, and it's going to be an event you won't want to miss. We're talking to Hair Success next about some great promotions they have going on. Why, you'll want to stop by.